Far post, Lewis is there, knocks it back to Shinichiki on the angle, and what a goal! What a goal from Andre Shinichiki, the blonde bombshell! What's up, everybody? From our 18T MLS studios in New York City, welcome on in to This Week in MLS, joined by uh, my, my favorite collegiate guy, Kaylin Carr. You look so, like, fall back to school ready right now. Yeah, I laid I this out it. last night on the on the bed and had my backpack ready. Uh, it's a good look. Yeah, I'm my girl put it. on my lunch in a, I'm hoping <laughs> for a back. surprise. I haven't opened it up yet, but I'm Little hoping. Little note. String cheese, Have a I'm great hopefully. Day. Yep, yep. You're a star. Yep. Aw. Uh, some big news. Yes. Just moved to Brooklyn. He did, you guys. Know, you can tell. It's a, been lying about this it's a new, for it's a new Kaylin. Maybe three years now. <laughs> Listen, this is this was a long time coming. I figured I I owned I had crossed the threshold of owning too many things that said Brooklyn on them uh -huh. to not, not actually yeah, just like exactly. It go was for like it. it was getting embarrassing for you. It, like it had been embarrassing. Yeah, I know, I know. I, know. I witnessed not it. Telling you well, I'm it. I'm glad you're here. Glad the move went well. You look great. Yeah, um, I I've gotten a uh, a cold. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you're, in, you're in better shape. While I'm hanging out watching movers move my stuff, you're like, I'm like traveling, suffering. doing BTWs, out there doing at t calls to the field, match day central. My but health, look, my health is suffering. Somebody needs to pick up the slack for me. So <laughs> I appreciate it. You are appreciated. Thanks. Oh, and that's I'll, really get, nice. I'll bring you, if you need some tea. That genuinely, that genuinely hit me right that's in what the I'm heart. Here for. Um, so, Kaylin, an abbreviated week of MLS action because there was an international break. So we didn't have like, a ton of games to talk about. Some good ones, though. There were some good we will, ones. Which we will get to. Um, but I thought it would be fun today to kind of play, play a little game Ooh. of Would You Rather. <music> so we're going to start with, uh, with Minnesota, okay? So would you, if you were Minnesota United right now, would you rather have a home playoff game at Allianz Field without Ozzy Alonso, or would you rather have a playoff game on the road with Ozzy Alonso? For me, this is a very easy answer. Really? Yes. Oh, I was like really struggling with this. Really? So, yeah, well, what's yours? 100% home game at oh, okay. Allianz because they've been so good. They've lost one time at Allianz. Yeah. And I mean, I, I'm no, nothing but love for you, Ozzy Alonso, but like, I, I just think that the environment at Allianz feel how well they've played there. They are um, eight one and five at home, five eight and one on the road. Do we know what their record is without him? Uh, no, I didn't dig that deep. <laughs> <laughs> Neither did I, clearly. But that's somebody a good do stats. that. Somebody, somebody who's watching, do that. But I, I just, I think the home field advantage for, especially for Minnesota, is huge. Yeah. So I'm gonna say home game. All right, all I'm going with you on that one. I okay. like that. I mean, look, the fact that this team is not only gonna uh, in the playoffs yep. this year, but potentially getting a home game, now. should tell you what their season has been like. So. Exactly. Yes. I'm, and listen, I'm so happy for the Loons. Like I, yeah. I want to see them do yep. well. This Watch is, the movement <laughs> episode on YouTube about great. that. Great. Good plug. Always, always good plug. Okay, next up. If you're LAFC, right, who have, you know, obviously clinched their spot in the playoffs, run it, they're going to get the supporters' shield. Yep. Would you rather not face the Galaxy in the playoffs, who have been their kind of, like, Achilles heel team, if okay. you will, or would you rather beat them on the way to MLS Cup? Oh, eat. They want to beat the Galaxy on their way to MLS Cup. Uh -huh. They want the Galaxy in the playoffs. I guarantee you this LAFC team will be targeting them <laughs> and, and sort of hoping it, but I think they should pick the other option. That's my opinion. Uh -huh. I, I think they want the galaxy, uh -huh. but I would not want that. I'm with I, you. I'm so 100% with because you. Because this isn't what, like what is it? it it's a pattern at this mm -hmm. point, yeah. right? And they have had consistent problems with them. So if you can avoid them, that's exactly what I'm saying. And you don't have to look over your shoulder and see Zlatan. Are you going to look back if you win MLS Cup and say, "Well, we didn't beat the galaxy"? No, no. Eh, You're lifting you can the just, trophy. Yeah, you know, yeah. Lift exactly. up that trophy. I did. They have played them five times now and have not won one single match against them. So. I, no, I just avoid it. Yes. I avoid it. I get it. I get that you want to, and uh, but you know what? Leave that for next season. <laughs> just yeah. when there's not You'll so much knock at that stake. Out later, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next up, would you rather, Kaylin Carr, build a roster around Cincy's roster that's in place right now, or Colorado's? Mm. 
Now these are two teams that are um, it's coming up with these questions. Listen, <laughs> producer Pauly. Can producer I take neither? Can I take, can I take oh, wow, that's so harsh. I mean, neither, neither, start for, maybe I'll just be uh, yeah, yeah, Miami. Start from scratch. There you go. Okay, that's fair. Um, <laughs> uh, I would take if I had to take something between the two. Yeah. I, I would take Colorado. Yeah, same. I mean, I think. Well, they've got you know they've got guys like Kellen Acosta. Yeah, jo Jonathan Lewis. Jonathan Lewis. Yeah. Um, there's some young, promising talent yeah. and, there. And they also have. Uh, DP slots opening up. Yeah. With uh, uh, Gashi leaving uh -huh. off the books. Yes, so exactly. I didn't think oh you guys God, played I in a while. About, I, I forgot about him. And then uh, Gashi. Tim Howard is going to be gone as yes, well. Yes, exactly. So yeah. Probably not going to invest you. in a goalkeeper, but adding strength to the pitch. No. I think that's the way to go. <laughs> Nothing but love for you, Cincy, but yeah, I'm going Colorado. Okay, this is a good one. This is the last one. Okay. Okay. Would you rather dance with uh, Kai this Kamara? Is, this is more what I thought we were going to With Kai like Kamara it. or. Mason Toy. Mm. I'm literally the only person on MLSsoccer.com at this point that has not done the toy dance. I, I, it's fun. Yeah, but you're going to get gift because it, it happened on. Oh, I hope so. I love being gift. Okay. It's great. It's like, it's I, like ta a, I take it as oh. like a, yeah, it's like a badge of honor. Okay. Yeah. Are you gift yourself? Yeah. I, if I knew how to do it, then I okay. would. Okay. Somebody help. Not that technically inclined. Um, look, I think this one is, I, I really enjoy toy. I, it's the it's the dance that's sweeping the nation right now. It is. It's, it's all over MLSsoccer.com. The yep. studio, it's basically just one big, like, Toy yep. festival. Yeah, it is. But you got to go with the OG. Uh, he is I mean, OG. Kai Kamara is the king of pop. He, he really is. The is. King of goal celebrations also, over the years. He's the, MJ. Also, the variety. You know, like there's a. He has done everything. This you know? man like, whipped out a white medical glove from inside <laughs> of his shorts <laughs> and put it on one finger and did the Michael Jackson. Dance Can we talk about on the are we baseball to talk about Michael Jackson anymore? At, uh, at Kansas City before he went there. Don't say Michael Jackson. Yeah. Sorry. Still. Listen. At the but time. At the time. Totally cool. Yeah. Uh, and OG. That's, yeah. I mean, I, Mason, come on. I, Until I, Mason starts listen, bringing out the props. I like props. this. I like this, and this is iconic. But like, I need to see more. I don't know. I, I say stick with it. I, I had a, the. Uh, Maybe like a little variation. Maybe a little shuffle with it. A little like. Oh, uh, that'd be. You cool. know what I mean? I had a celebration where Call I would me do Mason. the. Uh, I'd take my headband off in Chicago and yes. I spin it. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's really good. Didn't catch on. We'll, we'll, we'll work on it. We'll bring yeah. it back next week. <laughs> we'll bring it back. Okay. Kaylin, as we mentioned, there were some games this weekend and some of them were, were actually pretty darn enticing. So let's get to our uh, twim takeaways. Okay. I'll let you go first. Okay. Mine goes out to Portland. Uh, going to Portland Timbers. Yeah. I mean, this was a huge win at home and at the death, incredible goal um, from Fernandez, who didn't start the match because he was sick, he was ill, came on, gets like, the game winner. It's like his Jordan flu game. Yeah, except he didn't play the whole game and score a triple-double. <laughs> but he came on and got it when it counts. You hit that bucket at the buzzer, that's what's up. Uh, and you got to give it up to um, the mayor, Diego Valeri, for yeah. his play there. Oh, man. Just basically creating something out of nothing. That little Can I just say, touch. too, Diego Valeri without the beard is, like, freaking me out. Really? Yeah. I can't. I'm. It's. It's. I can't recognize him. Yeah. I identify like, with what, the what beard. Would be, okay. Here's the would you rather. What would be weirder? Would you rather? Would you rather have Diego Valeri mm -hmm. without the beard, uh, or me with the Diego oh, Valeri God. beard? No. 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 Well, number one, that would never happen because you, your facial hair is a little patchy. I don't think you're going to mind me telling the public that. But um, guys, Kalen Carr. If you have not Googled pictures of Kalen Carr, he had this like. Go T action yeah. during Houston and um, yeah. wasn't the best, not yeah. the best look. So I, I like, can't uh, even. What's that show? Uh, Prison Break. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you did. You looked like a convict. I looked like an extra. You actually that, yeah. did with the helmet. So I was um, rough. It was rough. Yeah. Times. So that's not even like a reality for me because that would never <laughs> actually happen. Okay. But yeah, Diego. Well, I listen. I'll get used to I'd it. Try. I still love you, Diego. I'm just. I'm having a hard time. It's fine. That's all I'm saying. All right. But good for Portland. And uh, Kansas City, though, on the other hand, I feel like this was kind of a ink. <laughs> <laughs> like right in the gut. Speaking of prison, you just prison shanks. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, that got dark. Wow. You guys, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, it's fine. Everything's um, fine. Yeah, that was that, that one hurt. That one hurt for that Kansas City. Hurt. Yeah, um, I, which is weird because they are just a perennial playoff team, and this season has just from – it has never gotten going for them. Yeah. Never. Like, uh, and it's just you can blame injuries. You can blame Champions League. Like, all of these, these things. Blame but, it all. Blame it all. Get that striker. Do something. Yeah. I don't know. You yep. know? It, Portland with all the momentum, though. Yep, all absolutely. those home games. All those home games. They might climb up that table. I keep reminding people they were my pick to win the whole darn thing. Well, so there's. Be careful I'm still. To I'm not. It happens. I still don't you're hate that. You're supposed to do that after you were right. I just want to remind people that. Okay. I'm. You know, I, I had this thought early on. So. All right. What's my your uh, yeah? What's yours? Yeah. My takeaway. Um, I'm going to talk about NYCFC, who had a, a huge two-on win over the Revs, who have also been playing really well. With that win, they now leapfrog. They are in first place in the East. You guys are two points clear of Philadelphia with a game in hand, and um, this was a this was just a nice game for them. Now a lot of guys out because of international duty. So um, we had Brad Stuver in in goal, like no no Sean Johnson, and then um, Jesus Medina coming oh, on as a huge. sub, getting the brace. Um, and my guy Alex Ring, with that just stunning service in. It was it was really really special. But this is uh, this is a, a huge momentum builder for for NYCFC. Now they were I. I was doing a shoot with Anton Tenerholm a week ago, or almost a week ago. And I was asked, talking about like the international break. He was like, yeah, we don't have a break. They, at that time, a week ago, they had still had seven okay, games weird, left. Weird flex, but okay. They had seven games left. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Sorry. No, I mean, I, yeah. But it's like, like there were teams like Vancouver only had four games left. So they've got like, they still had a lot of soccer. Yeah. To play, and so these results are are massively, massively important. And they're a team that they've they've said they're like we don't just want to make the playoffs. We've done that. Like we want to win the conference. Like we want to come out on the, as the number one seed. Mm. Um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for them though because they've got a tough schedule coming up. They'll play Atlanta again. Their decision day, you guys. They play Philadelphia Ooh. away, and it could that could be like it could all come down to that for the top spot. We'll see how it goes. So it's decision day this year, are they all the games at the same time? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's how it always works, man. Yeah. If it ain't broke, don't I fix it. Anxiety just thinking about that. But yeah, that's gonna Woo. be it's gonna be tough because all their remaining matches are against teams who are currently above the playoff line. So it's not gonna be easy for them to maintain that top spot, but they're playing they're just they got some swagger right now. Mm-hmm. And I like the fact that they were able to do this uh, with, you know, with a team with that were missing guys and just a good, What's Anton bodes well. Ten- Tenerholm like? So lovely. The nicest guy in the world. We went to the U.S. Open together for a BTW episode, which will be coming out in the next few weeks. Stay tuned. Um, but he, he brought his beautiful wife, who is pregnant with their first baby. I mean, it, well, it was just amazing. It was a really happy time because he had just signed the contract extension with NYCFC. They are expecting their first baby, a baby girl that's due in November. And he was, just, he's just a happy, lovely person. And his wife was so sweet and he was like doting on her. We were, he was like getting her her little sweets and tea, whatever she needed. They're high school sweethearts also, which I was like, oh God, oh God I know. I, I was kind of like, if I didn't, if they weren't so lovely, I would have been like, I hate you. But what high school did they go to? Somewhere in Sweden. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But they were lovely. So, so nice. I'd like to know what the mascot of that. What are, what are Swedish mascots like? Swedish fish? I don't know. Oh. That's all that. <laughs> that's, that's a stereotype. It is. That's a stereotype. It is. It is. Sorry. Those Sorry, are, Anton. Are good I didn't mean it. <laughs> no, he's, he's great and uh, just a quality player for NYCFC. Glad he's going to be sticking around. So, cool. um, yay. BT that's Dubs. My, BT Dubs, you guys. Got, some, got a few episodes in the books. All right. Shall we hit the button? Let's do it. I always, I always you want me to do, do it. it? Yeah, okay. I always get to do it. Yeah, you I've got some aggression up, right now. Yeah, let it out. Let Loosen that thing up. go. Really. Go. Uh, hoo, hoo. Whoa. Whoa. I hit that so hard it was like Simon Borg on repeat. I think I broke it. But let's yeah. see. <laughs> let's see. That's just Simon. That's now just what do we got? Oh, oh, what? Ooh. Oh, this is weird, man. <laughs> Ah, oh, what? Wow. Why? Oh. She's sporting the half, half LAFC, half I like, Galaxy. I don't, why? What does that say? Is that, you a life, you wishing? You, you wishing. 
is now, okay, what are the possible reasons that she could be doing this? It, does she just well, love LA soccer so much that she's like, I can't commit? I, I you know. She, this is when you take rivalry week just a little bit too seriously. Did she have you, this? You take it a little too far and you're just like. Did she do this herself? It, it looks like one of those, uh, like a like a promo thing for the game, for the match. That is just like, weird. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. Maybe someone like gave it to her, and they're like, "Hey, can you put this on so we can?" <laughs> I just, but Sign there are board, there are, yeah. there is such little like there's no love between these well, teams, so I don't know unless she has like a child that's like somehow affiliated with both. <laughs> I don't understand this. Yes, I feel Laton like this is unacceptable. I don't think so. Yeah, I, we we had uh, when I played in Chicago, <laughs> we would have like split Club America and Fire jerseys uh -huh. that like bootleggers would make. Yeah. Because it was Blanco. Yes. Who played and for both clubs? And I can clubs. that that there's a reason. There's a rhyme or reason. I don't see the connection here. Anybody help us out. Let us know yeah. what, well, what you think. She, uh, they, Why? They drew, she was probably the only person that was happy with the draw. Why? Why will this happen? Okay. Um, Kaylin, that's it, man. That's our show. Some, we got to get to the bottom of that. Yeah, story. you guys, seriously, can we can we do a Somebody little find out who this is? Do some and reconnaissance why? work. Dig dig why? deep and help us figure <laughs> out why this happened. Guys, get in those comments and uh, give us your theories <laughs> on how this came to be. And also, if you do a little digging and you know come up with something, hit us up. It, Let us know. It did say no kink shaming. <laughs> Guys, okay, don't don't dig too far. I didn't think I was supposed far. to read that. Don't dig too far into the watch comments. Watch out for those comments. Um, cool. Guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching. We hope you have a fabulous week. Wish Kaylin good luck in uh, getting the apartment organized. He's a Brooklyner, guys. He's a Brooklyner. Give it up. Thank Give you. it up. Thank you. I'm also vegan now. Oh.